after I stopped having physical therapy, I noticed a lot of pain in my residual limb um, and have continued to have pain since and asking if physical therapy was preventing the pain or if there's something else going on and if they'll always have to deal with pain. Um, and so the one thing that I want to touch on, especially if they've been in a socket, so if you've been wearing a prosthesis and things were going well, that there's all sorts of things that can cause pain. Um, but especially early on, so when you're doing physical therapy, that that limb goes through so many changes, especially in that first six months to a year, that volume's changing, the limb's starting to stabilize. And as we have those fluctuations, we have to manage that in the socket. And so with the socket, we are limited because it's made to fit you at a specific moment in time. And so our bodies fluctuate throughout the day, day to day. And as we're managing those volume fluctuations, we're trying to make this thing that was made for one moment in time fit you throughout all of those different volume changes. And so when you start having pain of, okay, if it was a day to day thing, if one day you're like, okay, this was fitting well yesterday and today it doesn't feel the same, of, okay, can we adjust this with sock ply, what's changed, and going and visiting your prosthetist, of letting them kind of go through and assess what's going on. Um, because that is, it's a big thing of, with the sock ply, so um, it's like for a transtibial amputee, so the socket's designed to basically fit all around your anatomy, and we have reliefs made specifically for bony areas that aren't meant to take a lot of pressure. And so when those reliefs, when you, if your volume goes down and you sit in that socket a little bit deeper, what happens is you have this kind of nice little, let's see if I can get a little pocket here. So we have like this nice little pocket, right? And if you have this bony landmark where your bone sits in this nice little pocket, if your volume goes down, what's gonna happen is this bony area here is gonna slide down into this relief and kind of catch the bottom edge of that relief and cause some rubbing and irritation. And so that can cause pain too. And so when we add a sock, what happens is the sock can pick up some volume, lift you back up into that nice little area of relief so that we don't get pressure around that area. Um, there are other types of pain. So if you're dealing with nerve pain and complications, um, there's going to be things to assess that it's always hard to say, well, what, what type of pain is it and what's the cause? Um, so working with your prosthetist, and if it doesn't seem to be a prosthetic fit issue of talking to your doctor also um, to see what their recommendations are of trying to get to the root cause of that pain. But if you went from a period of not having pain to having pain of, okay, let's try and address of what's changed since then um, and see what adjustments can be made to kind of get us back to where you were. Yeah, you shouldn't have to live your life in pain, which is what that patient was asking kind of seeing if she's going to be in pain forever so yeah and that's happened like when you're in therapy they're teaching you how to walk right and working on the muscles to help you walk correctly and uh, balance yourself and do all those things and then the second that you're not doing therapy you're probably not being as active that can affect your limb and your quality of life also because just changing the way you walk can cause pain in your back or pain in your limb just just a little tweak here and there um, so it's always important though to just go back to your even your physical therapist or your doctor or your prosthetist and just figure out um, maybe why the pain is is starting now so mm -hmm. and you touched on so back pain too so lower back pain specifically that can be, I know a lot of people like won't bring that up because like, well, it doesn't seem like it's related to my prosthesis, so I didn't mention anything. Um, but making sure too that the height of your prosthesis is correct. And so what happens is that if the prosthesis is higher or shorter, then your pelvis isn't level. And so then that can cause your back to kind of overwork to compensate for that and can cause a lot of lower back pain too. Um, so making sure that everything's kind of aligned properly, that's fitting, it's fitting properly. Um, so when you start having pain of making sure that you are following up with your prosthetist to make sure that everything, um, the alignment is great, that the socket fit is appropriate um, and that the height's correct. And so there's all of these other factors that um, can really affect your body and play a larger role than we even realize sometimes. You answered the questions perfectly you know, that they would 
their residual limb would change over time. I mean, even a alignment, you know, could change if their socket isn't fitting properly anymore. 